Good morning, thanks for joining me today. This is class number eight for intro to clogging. I'm gonna do something different today. I'm gonna start with a new song for us because it has all steps that we know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn that dance, then I'm gonna review the two new dances from class seven, and then I will teach you one more brand new dance at the end. It's a lot of fun and has some new steps in it as well. All right, so this is our new dance today, one of the new dances today. It's called Better Get to Living by the famous Dolly Parton, and it was choreographed uh, by a friend of mine, Trevor DeWitt. All right, so we're gonna start with clog over vine. So that's the seven double steps and a rock step. If you don't know what steps I'm talking about, you need to go back to the previous classes because I only do a quick review of steps that we've already learned, okay? So go back to the previous classes, but if you're good, let's move on. Clog over vine to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rock step. We're gonna chain as you turn to the back. Double step, rock step, rock step, rock step. And then we're gonna do two basics. Let's repeat everything to the front. Clog over vine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rock step. We're gonna do chain right to the front. Double step, rock step, rock step, rock step. And two basics. You're gonna do a cowboy turn for the second part. So we're gonna do a cowboy turning to the back and then we're gonna do another one turning to the front. So two cowboys, ready? And double step, double step, double step, brush turn, chain, come back, do it again. One, two, three, brush turn, chain, come back. So that was your second part, two cowboys. Part C, or the third part, we're gonna do four kicks and you're gonna turn in a circle to the left. So you're gonna go double step, this is just the, without the turns, double step, kick, Double step kick, double step kick, double step kick. Again, noticing that clicking sound I'm making with my standing foot. Now, we're gonna turn a quarter left each on those kicks. Double step kick, double step kick, double step kick, double step kick. My left foot's free. I'm gonna do a triple and a fancy double with my right foot. Now my right foot's free, so I'm gonna do all three of those things again, but starting with the right foot and turning to the right. So we started with the four kicks, turning right. Double step kick, double step kick, double step kick, double step kick. Then we do a triple and a fancy double. Now we do break one. Now, the first time we do the break, we're gonna do eight toe heels, turning in a circle to the left, and then the same thing, turning in a circle to the right. So eight toe heels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You still start with your left foot, but you do eight turning to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna repeat the first three parts again. That's your clog over vine, chain left to the back, two basics, repeat to the front. Part two, cowboy to the back, cowboy to the front. And part three, four kicks turning, a triple and a fancy double, and then repeat with the opposite footwork. Then we're gonna do break two. Now, the second time we do the break, there's only time to do four toe heels. So you wanna do a big, uh, a fast circle just doing four toe heels. So one, two, three, four. Okay, the third time we get to the break, we're gonna do part one and three again. Then we're gonna do break three, which is eight toe heels turning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but we don't go back to the right. So there's three different breaks. The first break, eight toe heels in a circle left, then eight toe heels in a circle right. The second break, four toe heels in a circle left, and then the third break, eight toe heels in a circle left. Okay, then um, we're gonna do the first part again, the clog over vine part. And then at the very end, we're gonna do the third part, the four kicks, triple and a fancy double. And it says, leave off the fancy double and just do two steps at the end. So when we're repeating it with the opposite footwork, rather than do a fancy double, we'll just go step and it matches the music. 
Okay, so Better Get to Living, Dolly Parton, choreographed by Trevor DeWitt. Let's do this. It's not fast, nice good warm up for us today. All right, we'll turn the music up a little. We've got 16 more beats. We're gonna start with a claw over vine, left foot. Ready, in, five, six, claw over five. People are always coming up to me. Chain to the back. Two basics. Clock over by. With all you do, your attitude just seems to be Chain right to the front. Two basics. Cowboy turn to the back. Cowboy to the front. One, two, three, brush. Four kicks. Turn. A triple and a fancy double. Four kicks turning. A triple and a fancy double. Now eight toe heels turning left. And go back to the right. Let's do all three parts again. Walk over by. Chain to the back, two basics, walk over five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, chain to the front, two basics, cowboy, let's turn, cowboy again, ready, four kick, double step kick, double step kick, triple, warm up a bit. Okay, so we're going to do the two songs that we worked on last week, Forever and Ever Amen and God's Been Good to Me. I do have a question for you. This is what I'm going to do for today. This is what I had planned, but I have a question for future classes. Now, these online classes are different than what you would see in real life in beginner's class. You would really get to review stuff because, of course, when you go home, you don't have that class to watch over and over the way it's been working for us right now with the online class. So I've been trying to keep doing new dances every week, um, just reviewing the new ones from the previous week. But my question to you is, do you even want a review of the previous week's class? Um, or are you watching it enough that you're getting that dance and you want to just have new stuff every week. So I invite you to please contact me, either email darylyn at dare to clog, so that's D-A-R-O-L-Y-N at dare to clog.com, 
or you can Facebook message me, um, Darylin Pajak, P-C-H-A-J-E-K. Let me know if you want me to always do a review of the previous classes, two dances, and then add a couple new ones, or should we just do new dances every class? Um, I'd be interested to know your thoughts. Okay, today though, I am going to review the last two dances from the previous class. We're going to do forever and ever amen. It was two stomp doubles. So stomp, double step, double step, rock step. Stomp, double step, double step, rock step. We then did two airplanes, which is a chain left and right. Airplane left and airplane right. Then we did a karate turn. So that is a double step, kick, step, kick. Double step, kick, step, kick. And then we repeat that to the front. Double step kick, step kick. So two karate turns, ready. And double step kick, turn, step and kick. Double step kick, turn, step and kick. We're gonna follow it with two triples. So part A, the first part, is two stomp doubles, two airplanes going left and going right, two karate turns, both of them turning half left, and then two triples, and then you repeat everything. Let's do it just one time through, should be good enough. Two stomp doubles, ready, and. Again, airplane left, airplane right. Now two karate turns, double step, kick, turn, step and kick, double step, kick, turn, two triples, one, two, three, rock step, one, two, three, rock step. And then we would repeat that. All right, part B, the second part. We're going to do two outhouses. Outhouse was a new step for us last week. Double step, out, front, out. Double step, out, front, out. I guess it wasn't last week. It was Monday, wasn't it? So two outhouses. It's a double step and three touches. Out to the side, in front, and out to the side. Out, front, out. Out. You're then going to do a rocking chair and a fancy double. A brush and a basic, that's your rocking chair, fancy double. We're then going to do a cowboy going straight forward. We don't turn on this cowboy like we did in the previous dance. So, triple brush forward, chain bring it back. Then we're going to do the other new step we learned in this dance, a toe heel basic which is two toe heels and a basic step. Toe heel, toe heel, and a basic. And then we're also gonna do one on the right foot. Toe heel, toe heel, and a basic. So, part B, the second part. Two outhouses, a rocking chair, a fancy double, a cowboy not turning, and then two toe heel basics. And then we're gonna repeat everything. Let's do just the one time through, like we did before. Two outhouses, ready, and. Double step, out. Rocking chair. Fancy double. A cowboy. Two toe heel basics. Toe heel basics. Part C, two clog over vines. Left foot and moving to the left and moving to the right. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rock step, go to the right. We're going to repeat all of part A again, all of part B. At the end, we're going to do one more cowboy and three toe heel basics. And then that's pretty much the end of the music. So here we go. Forever and ever, amen. This is by Randy Travis. Choreographer is Shirley McConnell from Ontario. Here we go. Okay. Mm, just give me one second here. I just noticed my Wi Fi is on and I want to make sure I turn that off. Okay, there we go. All right. Forever and ever, amen. Love that I feel for you all. 
Sorry. Um, the first time we did the second part, the second run through, I think I did three toe heels and a rock step instead of a, a toe heel, toe heel and a basic. And then I know during, what was it, the triples at the end of part A, the second time through, I think I did a stomp double at the end. So I'm sorry, follow the cue sheet or go back to week seven. I think I did it all perfect there. Okay, so that was forever and ever, amen. We're going to do the other one we did last week, God's Been Good to Me, and there were two new steps in this one. The first one being the first step, it's a kangaroo. So the kangaroo, this is the one where you got to slide forward. So again, I'll show you the options in case your shoes don't slide or you have bad knees or you're on carpet. This is what the true kangaroo, though, should look like. Double step, scoot, rock, step, scoot, rock, step. Now, I do a double step, my weight's on that foot. I'm gonna scoot forward, so you're sliding forward, rock, step, slide forward again, rock, step. Double step, slide, rock, step, slide, rock, step. Double step, slide, rock, step, slide, rock, step. Now, if you have bad knees, Scooting forward on that knee could really jar it and, and damage it more. Um, or if you're dancing on carpet at home and you can't really slide back and forth, I'm going to show you an option. You can go double step, click, rock, step, click, rock, step. So you're making that same sound, you're using that same foot, you're just not moving yourself, you're just staying put. So double step, click, rock, step, click, rock, step. That's your option for a kangaroo. Because I've got the slippery shoes and uh, I want to show you truly what a kangaroo should be, I'm going to slide on mine. 
So we're gonna do a kangaroo. Double step, scoop, rock, step, scoop, rock, step. My right foot's free, I'm gonna do a triple as I turn to the back. One, two, three, rock, step. Then I do a kangaroo again with my left foot facing the back. Double step, scoot, rock, step, scoot, rock, step. Right foot's free, do a triple to the front. So that's our intro. Kangaroo, triple turning to the back. Kangaroo, triple turning to the front. Let's try it, ready? And double step, scoot, rock, step, scoot, rock, step, triple turning to the back. Kangaroo, double step, scoot, rock, step, scoot, rock, step, triple turning to the front. Now, if you listen to the triple, and one, and two, and three, rock, step, and one, and two, and three, and four. So nice and even. The kangaroo is a syncopated step. And one, and two, and three, and four. Okay, again. And a one, and two, and three, and four. So it's syncopated. So there is a difference in rhythm with the two. So we did the kangaroo triple, kangaroo triple. That's our intro. Part A, very easy. We're gonna do two basics and a triple step forward, two basics and a triple step back. Chain left, two basics. Chain right, we're gonna turn to the back and two basics. And then we're gonna repeat all that. So let's try. Two basics, a triple forward, one, two, three, two basics, and a triple back. A chain moving left, and two basics, a chain right as you turn, and two basics. Then we're gonna repeat two basics. Triple forward, basics, triple move back. Chain left, two basics, chain right as we turn, and two basics. That's part A. The second time we do part A, we're not gonna do it to the back and then all to the front. So what we're gonna do is instead of turning, you're gonna do chain left, two basics, chain right, just right. We're gonna stay facing the front. And instead of turning, you just keep it to the front. So we only go through it once and then we're ready to move on. Part B, this is this was one of our new, another, oh, sorry. This was our other new step. Or maybe we did learn this before, a walk the dog. No, we had learned that before, sorry. Walk the dog, two basics. But we're gonna turn on this walk the dog. I don't believe we've turned before. Double step, double step, heel, heel, rock step. So you're gonna turn on the walk the dog, and then you're gonna do two basics here. Walk the dog, turn. Double step, double step, heel, heel, rock step, two basics. Again, double step, double step, heel, heel, rock step, Two basics, one more time. Basics. So in a box is how we're gonna do it. That's what we call when we do the same steps to all four walls in a box. So walk the dog, two basics to all four walls. Then we have the first break where we're gonna do a kangaroo on both feet. So in the intro, we only did it on our left foot. For the break, you're gonna do it on both feet. So kangaroo and then kangaroo. Double step, scoop, rock, step, scoop, rock, step. Double step, scoop, rock, step, scoop, rock, step. So you go forward with both. Let's try that again. Two kangaroos, ready? And double step, scoop, rock, step, scoop, rock, step. Double step, scoop, rock, step, scoop, rock, step. You're gonna come back with two basics. Option, if you don't want to do the scooting, the sliding, just do it on the spot. So two kangaroos, double step, click, rock, step, click, rock, step, double step, click, rock, step, click, rock, step, and two basics. We're going to do part A again without turning. We're going to do the walk the dog two basics in a box. Then we're going to do, this was our other new step last week, the clog over four. So that's the first four double steps of a clog over vine. Four double steps. One, two, three, four. That's a clog over four. So one, cross it over three and in behind. Ready? And one, two, three, four. You're going to do a rocking chair turn. 
clog over four rocking chair. Ready? And one, two, three, four rocking chair. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four rocking chair. One more time. So that as well would be called in a box because we did clog over four and a rocking chair turn to all four walls. Then break two, we're gonna do one cowboy. So you're just gonna keep it forward. We're gonna do the walk the dog basics in a box. Then we're gonna do the third break where we're gonna do two cowboys. So you're gonna turn the cowboy to the back and turn another one to the front, just like we did in that last dance. Then uh, we're gonna do the first break, which is two kangaroos and two basics moving back. And then the ending in a box, we're gonna do a kangaroo and a triple, but we're gonna do a three quarter turn triple. So let's do that kangaroo. Double step, scoop, rock, step, scoop, rock, step. My right foot's free. I'm gonna do a three quarter right. So I am gonna end up where my left shoulder is. Double step, double step, double step, rock, step. So now I'm facing this wall. Let's do the kangaroo and then a three quarter right turn, which should bring us where my left shoulder is to the back. Kangaroo and a triple to the back. Kangaroo. Three quarter triple, kangaroo, and a triple to the front. And that's the end of the dance. So here we go. This is God's Been Good to Me by Keith Urban. Choreographer is Marie Lovelace um, from Tennessee, and the adaptation is by Ann Mills from Washington. Here we go. All right. Um, We're going to wait eight more beats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kangaroo. Here we go. Triple turn to the back. Kangaroo. Triple to the front. Two basics. A triple step forward. Two basics. A triple back.
triple and it should have been the kangaroo first. All right, good job. So we're gonna move on now. We're gonna learn another brand new dance and this has got some new steps in it. So my really good friend in San Diego, Melinda, Melinda Leatherman, she wrote this dance, Mumbo Number no. 5, the classic song from the 90s by Lou Bega. So, few new steps in this one. Um, maybe about four or five steps in this one. Not hard, but just new. So, let's start. We're going to do a run-toe heel. Now, in previous a previous week, I had told you that run on the west side anyway, on the west coast, is synonymous with double step. So a run toe heel would be a double step toe heel. So it says to do three run toe heels and a basic. So that would be double step toe heel three times and a basic, all right? You're gonna cross over on that toe heel though. So you're gonna go double step toe heel, double step toe heel, double step toe heel, and then a basic. Now we're gonna move it to the right. Three run toe heels and a basic. Ready? And double step toe heel, toe heel, and a basic. So that's our intro. Let's go over that again. Three run toe heels and a basic to the left. You repeat it all to the right, opposite footwork. Run toe heels, ready? And double step toe heel, toe heel, basic. Other way, toe heel. Toe heel, toe heel, and a basic step. So that is uh, our first new step, the run toe heel. Part A, easy, we've done this before. Cowboy to the back. Two side touches. Now do you remember a place in the choir, that song? We did, remember we were doing clap down and clap high. This time you don't have to worry about any uh, hands or clapping, just two side touches. So double step touch, double step touch, and a fancy double. Then we're gonna repeat all that coming back to the front. So you're facing the back at this point. Cowboy turn to the front. One, two, three, brush. Chain come back. Two side touches, double step touch, double step touch, and a fancy double. I want to try all this with music. So we're gonna do the intro, the three run toe heels and a basic repeat, and then we're gonna do cowboy to the back, two side touches and a fancy double, repeat to the front. Mambo number five. Hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, right. this is Mambo number five. I'm going to see how fast this is for us. I think this should work. Three run toe heels and a basic. Ready? Left foot. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody and a basic. Other way. Basic. Cowboy. Turn to the back. I just wanted to give, to give you a sneak peek of what's coming up. But um, I think the tempo was okay. That's actually full speed, so this is good. The next step, this is the one I was just showing you, is called a basketball basic. Now, if you hear basketball in clogging, that's just pivot step. So whichever put, foot you put forward, you're gonna go on the ball of that foot, turn around, step on the other foot. So I put my left foot forward, but it would be awkward to turn left. So you're gonna turn right when you put your left foot forward. Pivot step. Now that's a basketball turn, or just basketball. A basketball basic, which is what we're doing, is a pivot step and then a basic step. So you're gonna do pivot step and a basic step. 
ready, and pivot step and a basic step. Most basketball basics or basketball turns are done half turn. In this dance though, what we're gonna do is a quarter turn only. So this is only for the first basketball basic. So I just want you to do a quarter right turn. Pivot step and a basic step. Now your right foot is free. We're gonna do three more basketball basics and I want you to turn them half each. So my right foot is free. So which direction am I going? Left. So in a basketball turn or basketball basic, you're going the opposite direction of your lead foot. So your right foot's going forward, so I'm gonna turn left, and then a basic step. Now my left foot's free. I'm gonna do another one. So left foot, I'm turning right. Pivot step and a basic step. Right foot's free, we're gonna do turn left. Pivot step and a basic step. So this part in the dance, we're gonna do, and we do this often in the dance too, Four basketball basics. The first one is just a quarter turn, and the next three are half turns, okay? So a quarter turn, and then three half turns. So you're gonna turn here, to here, to here, to here. Basketball basic, ready? And quarter right, half left, half right, half left. Let's try that again. Four basketball basics. Ready and pivot step and a basic. Pivot step and a basic. Pivot step and a basic. One more. Pivot step and a basic. Our left foot is free when we get to the left wall. The next step you're going to do is a rocking chair. I want you to do three rocking chairs to get us all the way back to the front. So you're going to do quarter turn left, quarter turn. One more, and a fancy double. So three rocking chairs to get around and a fancy double. Here's another new step for you, a round out rock. So we've done the round out before. Let's review the round out. Double step, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. So the round out, one double step, three toe heels. We've also done the eight count round out. We did that in uh, Teenager in Love. I think it was that dance. But anyway, the round out, the short one, the round out is one double step, three toe heels. Now we're gonna learn a new step called the round out rock. The round out rock is one double step, two toe heels, and a rock step. So instead of doing that third toe heel, I want you to do a rock step instead. Round out rock. Double step, toe heel, toe heel, rock step. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate a round out and then a round out rock. And I wanna see if you can, or you tell me if you can see the difference, okay? This is a round out. This is a round out rock. Did you notice the difference? My other foot is free when I finish the round out rock. So after the round out, double step, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, my left foot is free again. When I do the round out rock, double step, toe, heel, toe, heel, rock, step, my right foot is free. Choreographers um, use this. When they're writing a dance and they want their left foot to be free, then they would have just done a round out. But if they needed to do something on the right foot or whatever reason they wanted the right foot free, then they would have used a round out rock. So, we're gonna do, actually in this dance, four round out rocks. And because your opposite foot ends up being free, we're gonna alternate, just like a triple, right? When you do a triple on the left, the next one's gonna be with the right foot. So, we're gonna do four round out rocks. Left, right, left, right. Same thing when we did the basketball basics, correct? Left foot, right foot. So it's the same thing, it ends with the opposite foot. So let's do four round out rocks. Double step, toe, heel, toe, heel, rock step. 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 That's our round out rock. So we're gonna do this, this is part B. Basketball basic, 
We do four of them, quarter right, then three half turns. We end up here. You're gonna do three rocking chairs, quarter left each, a fancy double, and then four round out rocks. Let's try it first without music. Basketball basic, left foot, quarter right. Ready? And pivot, step, and a basic. Half turn, half turn again, and one last time. Now three rocking chairs. Turn to the back, turn again, one more time to the front, and a fancy double. Round out rock, double step, toe, heel, toe, heel, rock step, double step, toe, heel, toe, heel, again. Last time. That's your round out rock. I'm gonna try just that part with the music. Let's try. Back it up a little here. Ready? Basketball basic. Pivot, step, and a basic. Now go back. Half again. One more time. Three rocking chairs. Quarter left turn. Do it again. Quarter left. One more rocking chair. And a fancy double. Four round out rock. Double step, toe, heel, toe, heel, rock step. Double step, toe, heel, toe, heel, rock step. One more time. Okay. So now we're going to move on. We're going to do the next part, a vine. Now, I think I had mentioned this before, but the way I see most steps, if it starts with clog over, you're going to be crossing over in front. If it starts with just vine, then you're going to be crossing in behind, like you would do a great vine, right? So just a vine step, just the word vine, is a triple step going sideways, but crossing in behind. Kind of like the clogging version of a grapevine. So you're gonna go one, two, three, rock step. That's a vine left. Vine, moving to the left, ready, and one, two, three, rock step. Notice again, when I went behind, I turned my foot out. You don't have to do like this, or you shouldn't have to turn your hips too much. You should go one, two, three. Okay, I don't want you to turn your body, just your leg. Double step, double step behind. Notice how my leg turns out, but my hips are forward. Double step, rock step. So we do a vine left, and then we're gonna do one Charleston. Double step, touch, toe, heel, touch. Now this might feel a little awkward because we've done all our Charleston so far on the left foot. This is a right-footed Charleston. So right foot, double step, touch, toe, heel, touch. Again. We're only going to do one of them, but I want you to practice. Charleston, double step, touch, toe, heel, touch. Double step, touch, toe, heel. One more. All right, right foot's free. We only do one Charleston. We're going to do a vine to the right. One, two, three, rock step. That's the triple going sideways, crossing in behind. And then a simple twist. Simple twist is easy. Twist, twist. So you're gonna twist your heels to the left, pause, twist your heels to the right, pause. So let's go vine left, Charleston, vine right, simple twist. Vine, Charleston, vine right, and a simple twist. Cowboy to the back. Now like before, side touches, fancy double. Cowboy to the front. And it stops right there. We don't do the side touches and fancy double this time. So we're gonna try this with the music now. Vine left, Charleston. Vine right, simple twist. Cowboy to side touches, fancy double. Cowboy back to the front. Let's see if I can find the right spot. It might be a little hard. Vine left, a Charleston, a 
So we're going to do the basketball basics, the rock and chair, fancy double, and round out rocks part again, part B. Then we've got one more new part. Yes, one more new part. Heel slur basics. So another new step for you. Um, a heel. That means you're putting your weight on the heel. Now, I have suffered with plantar fasciitis in the past, and I tried to dance through it, and it hurts like anything when you put weight on that heel. So, you don't have to do a heel if you have problems uh, with your arches or ankles even, or specifically plantar fasciitis. So just feel free to put a flat foot down, just step, slur, step. But this is what a heel slur looks like. Heel, slur, step, and a basic. Now, you're going, first she says left, then right. So we're just going to move left. Heel, slur, step, and a basic. When you do that slur, heel, I am slurring, it's like I'm trying to rub dirt, uh, dirt off my shoe, like mud or something, okay? So heel, slur, step. You gotta put your weight down on the step. When I teach beginners um, in years past, that's where I notice they tend to mess up on, is they miss that coming down on it. So make sure you're going heel, slur, step, and then a basic. Then we're gonna do a heel slur basic to the right. Heel slur step and a basic. Now here's your option. If you don't wanna do a heel, just go step slur step and a basic. Step slur step and a basic. You don't have to put your heel down. It's just a fancier look, that's all. There is a step slur step basic um, or the heel slur. Just two different steps, but modifications depending on what your body is able to do. So. Heel slur basic, left and right. Heel slur step and a basic. Heel slur step and a basic. Then we're gonna do a step slur, uh, sorry, a heel slur basic moving to the left corner. So now instead of going out to the side, I'm gonna turn to the left corner and go forward on this. Heel slur step and a basic. Okay, so I went left, right, and then I'm gonna go diagonal left forward. So watch, heel slur step and a basic, heel slur step and a basic, now heel slur step and a basic. So I turned my body so it's easy to go forward. My right foot's free. Now I'm gonna do a step slur step and two runs. And what's a run? A double step. So you're gonna go step slur step. Now this slur is just dragging your foot back as opposed to doing the side. So with the right foot, it's just step, slur, step, and two double steps as you face the front. All right? So let's try heel slur basic to the left corner, step, slur, back, and two double steps. Okay? Heel slur basic. Heel slur, step, and a basic. Step, slur, and two double steps. Now by doing two double steps, that puts your right foot free. So now we can do the heel slur basic to the right corner. Heel slur step and a basic. We're gonna do the step slur back and two runs. Step slur back, two double steps. Again, when I did the step slur back, whoops, I wanna make sure I don't go off camera here. Step slur step. You gotta make sure you put your weight down on that second step, okay? So left foot. Step, slur, step, two double steps. After that, you do the simple twist. Twist, twist. So, this is this middle section. We only do this part once. Heel, slur, basic to the left. Heel, slur, basic to the right. Heel, slur, basic forward to the left corner. Step, slur, back, and two double steps. Heel, slur, basic to the right corner. Step, slur, back, and two double steps. And a simple twist. Looks like this. Heel slur basic. Ready? And heel slur step and a basic. Heel slur step and a basic. Heel slur basic to the corner. Step slur back. Two double steps. Heel slur basic forward. Step slur back with two double steps. Simple twist. Left, right. Let's try that part one more time and then I'll put it with music. Heel slur basic to the left. Heel slur step and a basic. Heel slur step and a basic to the left corner. 
Step slur back with two double steps. Heel slur basic to the right corner. Step slur back, two double steps. Twist, left, right. Let's just try that with music. Okay. Oops. You've now seen all the steps to the dance. We're going to put all of that together. So we've got the three rento heels. Do we do that at the end? Yes, we're going to do it at the end again. So remember this one? Double step, toe, heel. You do that three times and a basic. Come back to the right. We've got a cowboy to the back, two side touches and a fancy double. Repeat it to the front. We've got those four basketball basics. Quarter turn on the first one, half turn on the next three. Then we do three rocking chairs, quarter left turn each, fancy double. Four round out rocks, alternating left and right. We've got the vine left, that's your triple moving sideways, crossing in behind. Charleston, vine right, and the simple twist. We're gonna do some more repetitions, then we do that heel slur basic part we just learned, and uh, repeat a bit at the end. So here is Mambo number no. five by Lou Bega. Choreography is Melinda Leatherman from San Diego. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mambo number no. five. Are you ready? In five, six, three, run to heel. Right. And a simple twist to end. 
Very good. So that brings us to the end of our class today. Thank you so much for joining in. It was a long class today. So again, I'm looking for your feedback. If you want me to review the two dances that I teach from the previous class, and then we'll learn, or should I just do all new stuff every new class? Um, these classes are gonna continue for as long as the world is under lockdown, but uh, then um, the idea is to get you clogging and then to get you finding a local beginner's clogging class so that you can keep moving forward and start joining us at conventions. One fun thing to do with clogging is go to a fun dance. And what a fun dance is, is it's in the evening, it's not necessarily a teach, but it's just very easy dances using very common steps like the basic, the chain, the cowboy, the rocking chair, and just different dances that all have those steps in it and we all dance together. Because of the situation we're in, there's been a worldwide clogging fun dance happening for the last It'll be almost six weeks now since they've had them. I want you to look up on YouTube, Worldwide Clogging Fun Dance, and you'll find the YouTube channel for it. And then this Saturday, so uh, that's tomorrow night, um, I want you to tune in, if you can, uh, 7 p.m. Central Time, Naomi Pyle, who I think is the queen of clogging. She is so hilarious, fantastic teacher and choreographer. She's starting the night off, and then it's going to be some of my friends from Arkansas and Tennessee, and then uh, I'm closing off the fun dance, so I hope you'll join me. I should be on about 8 p.m. Central Time. Come join me. Even if you don't know all the steps, you might see a new one to learn or something. Anyway, thank you for joining. Have a great weekend, and uh, I hope to see you Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Central. That's April 28th. Have a great weekend. Take care.